Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Crate and Art. Today we're going to make over this sign I found at the Dollar Tree. It's just a wooden circle, thin piece of wood here with a little jute cord on it. So we're going to need that. I have some wire cutters, some hot glue sticks from the Dollar Tree. I have some yellow spray paint, some brown spray paint. I have some of these glass little gems. Doesn't really matter what color you get, but I'm gonna use the little size in here. And it's probably, maybe they're half inch circles. I have four bags of those. I'm not sure exactly how many I'm gonna need, but we're also gonna need some of these large spoons that I got at the Dollar Tree. And these are the super heavy duty and you get 24 in each bag. And I have my hot glue gun and that's all we're gonna to need today. So let me get situated, we can get started. We're gonna need some green spray paint, one of the spoons from the Dollar Tree and a little piece of wood. Here's the spoons, here's the gems. And what you need to do first is go ahead and get all your spoons out. And I believe I used all four packages. I went outside, I spray painted them yellow and I just held on to the spoon part and just spray painted the handle. And you only really need to spray paint the back side. And then I went through with my wire cutters and I just cut off all the ends. Now here I'm putting all the clear gems on the circle to make sure I have enough. And I believe I might have used five bags and I just picked out the white little ones. Um, if you run out, you can always use a couple big ones in the center. And you'll see where I ran out and I just stuck a big one in the middle. I took that disc, I took it outside, and I spray painted it brown. And then I just started hot gluing these gems all around the front of this. And I just went around the edge, and then I just started filling in rows around. Sometimes they don't line up perfectly, and that's fine. You won't even notice. You could just do random and not even be perfect at it either. So there I added the big one in the center. And I took a little nail brush I got at the Dollar Tree, and I just wiped off all of the extra little glue strings. Now here I'm putting all the petals on and I'm just putting them to make sure I have enough and see how I like it to lay out. So I just kind of went around and just messed with it a little bit. Now here you can see, I just took some of that black chalk paint that I got at the Dollar Tree and I'm just stippling it right onto the tops of the gems. I want the brown to show through on the background. So I just did the top portion of the gems. But you could do a darker brown, I chose the black. So you're just gonna go through and do all of those. Okay, so now it's nice and dry. I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing the spoon handles on the back. And I chose the smooth side on the front and I didn't paint the back sides of the spoons. They don't need it, it's just a waste of paint. And I just went around and just kind of separated them. And then I went and added one on each side of those. Went all the way around. And then I go through and I start filling in the inside. Now, you might wanna be careful because you only have so many spoon handles. You might wanna grab an extra bag. I actually worked out perfectly and I just start filling in the centers here. And I just did random lengths. I think it looks a lot more um, natural, but you can make them perfect if you want. I just kind of went with it. This is a super fast, easy project. If you don't have any spray paint, you could use craft paint. I just like using or spray paint when I do plastic. I think it stays on better. And now here we're taking that spoon I got at the Dollar Tree. I took my hammer and I just smacked it down on this flat rock I had to make the spoon flat. And then I just went and spray painted the spoon and that little piece of wood. You could just use a paint stick or something like that. Now here I put a little piece of wood and glued it on first because 
I needed it to stick out further than the handles on the spoons. So I just lined it up. And now here I'm going to add the spoon and you could add it to either side. You could also glue it to the back side. I just went ahead and glued it to the front. I think it turned out super cute. Well, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, everybody.